Hi guys, so today I'm going to be making another um, journal entry journal. This is the journal you know that I work in and make videos about all the time. I am almost done with this journal and I don't want to wait until I'm completely you know finished before I make a new one. And I feel like making a journal so I'm going to make another one. So um, I already have all my paper. I have six pieces uh, of, okay, I have two signatures and I have two Okay, so I already have the paper prepped. I have six pieces of cardstock, yeah, cardstock paper, and I have two signatures, so two signatures of six pieces of paper, and then I have my little flaps. I have little pieces of paper in between the six pieces of paper of cardstock. So I just cut pattern paper, different sizes, uh, you know, because I want each page to be a little different. Like this is an envelope. I have an envelope in the middle of these two pieces of paper. You know, just some different paper. So I have something different to work with each time that I journal. And but I did make sure that uh, the beginning of each signature does have the same size piece of paper, so that you know when I get into the middle, they're the same. But yeah, so I have just different pieces of paper. So those are ready. They're not um, poke. I don't. I haven't poked the holes yet, but I will do that soon. So these books will be kind of similar, but I am going to be using different um, a different cover. For this cover, I used canvas material and sewed on a pretty patterned material on top, and that's what the cover is. For this one, I'm going to be using canvas paper because that's just what I felt like using, and. Um, also, like this canvas paper, I can decorate it. This, I didn't want to decorate, but I do want to decorate the cover of this one. Also, the binding will be the same. I have just one, um, one row of holes, and both signatures are put into these, um, this one row. And I, just three holes, it's really easy binding. But when I made this journal, I put these little metal hole things <laughs> into, you know, the binding. I'm not going to do that this time because I just I don't care this time if it has that. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. I am going to have rounded edges for this one though. I like I like the rounded edges. Okay, I do have a little bit of a problem though. For this journal, which I also think I had in this journal too, the the canvas paper is like just enough to cover these pages, like just barely. So I don't know if to just you know be fine with that or to cut off this extra that I have on the top and glue it on to the end which is what I did with this one actually I didn't think I had enough and then I put extra but actually I have a lot extra here like if you look there's a lot so maybe I won't I I still have to figure that out yeah, I just knew I needed a new journal and I was really looking forward to finishing this one so I can make another because I want to make, you know, a couple of changes. I just, I feel like working in a new book. So, I'm excited to make another one of these. Okay, I'm not going to put extra on the ends because I did for this one. See, I added, I added more material here. And it was completely not needed. I have way too much, I have too much material left over. So, I'm not going to. I, but I am going to cut this extra off here. Actually... Be like that. I'm going to cut the extra off and I'm going to round the edges and then I'm going to figure out how I'm going to decorate this. Okay, so I know what I'm going to do. I picked out a bunch of pretty paints, some dollar paints, and then some uh, basics, and some master touch paints. And I'm going to try and create like this swirl, really abstract looking uh, design on here. Um, I'm going to like drop paints and then just kind of, you know, mix them around and stuff. 
I found some inspiration on Pinterest, so that's what I'm going to do. And I have floating medium. This is like, you know, clear acrylic. And I'm going to put this all over the page first, and that'll help me, like, blend all these paints together. You'll see it right now. So I'm going to get started. Oh my gosh, I love it. I really love how it looks. I'm going to stop because I don't want to overdo it and then start over or something. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to dry this with my uh, handy dandy heat gun. Um, and then I'll be back when it's dry. Alrighty, so it's dry and it looks a little bit different from the last clip because it, it dried and then I noticed that there were some spots that I didn't really like very much so I just added some more color like this dark color here, some more blue and some darker colors here and more pink. But yeah, I love it. I love this technique. It is so cool. So the um, inside of it I'm going to paint and I think I'm just going to use some purple and this brownish color and mix them together. I really hope this won't shrink. It shouldn't. But we'll see. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so the purple and the brown was a bad idea. It was really ugly. And I'm worried because it's starting to curl. I really hope it doesn't shrink because it's like the exact size I need it to be. So I put some paints around the edges to keep it from curling while it dries. Hopefully that will work. So I'll be back when it's dry. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, so it's dry and it didn't shrink. And I think the paint around the edges helped it not to curl, so that's good. And I know it's not really pretty, but it doesn't really matter. It's just, you know, the inside. It's going to get paint all over it anyway. The outside is what matters. So I have my two signatures, and I punched the holes in here. I poked the holes. Um, I just didn't show it on camera because you guys have seen me do that before. You just, you know, you just poke holes. So now I'm going to put them in 
the journal, which is barely have enough material to cover it. But it is enough. So I'm just going to poke three holes. Um, I need to just measure them, poke them through, and then I'm going to be using this blue string to bind it with. So yeah. I'm thinking about possibly putting these metal things in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to, but I'm not going to. These little things, you're supposed to have a, a specific punch, hole puncher to, like, um, you know, to do it. But um, I don't have that, and I have used a hammer before. I think I used a hammer on the other book. For this one, but I'm going to probably use glue. I'm just going to glue this on. I've done that with a journal before. So yeah, I'm just going to poke the holes um, bigger and then put this through. Okay, so I just put some glossy accents on the little things to like glue them in there so that hopefully they'll help them stay better. And now I'm going to try to, um, to, cut the, to cut this part and then bend it back. So it will kind of be doing what the, pun the hole puncher for this thing is meant to do. So I'm going to try this. Let's cut these and then try to bend them back. If not, I'll just glue these little tiny things on there. I'll just glue them on if it if this doesn't work. Because I don't know if you can see, but it did kind of work. It's just really sharp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that to the rest of them and then just put glossy accents around it to, like, put a coat of stuff over it so that it's not sharp. So I'm just going to do that, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that the glue is pretty much dry, I'm going to bind the book so that I can go to bed. I have just this blue string and a little needle, and I'm just going to start by going through the inside of the book because I don't want the string to show on the outside so yeah I'm just going to bind this right up.
Alrighty, so that's it. It is done. Oh, very, very happy. I am not going to be putting a um, little like button thing and rubber band on this one because I don't really care for the one on this one. I don't know. I might eventually put one on, but right now I don't really want to. But yeah, I'm glad I put the little silver things on this. I love the cover. It's my favorite part, but I just... I really like this book and it I have enough material so it covers the paper thank goodness <laughs> so um, if you want to see how I made this book I will link it in the description bar below because you know they are they are different even though they're going to like be the same kind of book like with the flap and everything the same kind of like concept but you know I just made the book a little different but they both have the same binding but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys um enjoyed watching me make this i'm excited to start working in this one yeah i'm gonna go to bed because it's like four in the morning <laughs> so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye